Today we will see how to make a document to a product. Previously we have created a product that was named iPhone SE 2022. But this product is a materialized product and it has no quantity. If I see the if I see the preview, we don't have for the bits, we don't have any quantity. This means that if we want to make a sale on the pulse, it doesn't have any quantity. Okay? So now to make a procurement, we need to go to procurement here and from there we'll create our procurement. But first of all, before creating a procurement, we need to create a provider. So I will go to the provider menu and create the provider. Let's see here, it will be uh, Apple. Um, email, just keep it. Let's say Apple contact. Um, surname iPhone I mean if you have uh, the information that you want to put you can fill this information but for now I'll keep it very simple so I will save and now I will go to the document and make a new document here I will name this document iPhone document and I'll choose to define an invoice number if you have an invoice number from the uh, provider you can put it there. I put a random number. The delivery date, um, it can be today. Uh, automatic approval, this means that, for example, you can schedule a delivery date for your procurement. And if you set it as automatic approval, it means that when the date will, um, when the date will arrive, basically, it will automatically add the inventory to the, to the stock. So here, automatic approval will set it to no because it's today. Or we can also set it to yes. Delivery is currently delivered. But so here you see we have an option pending. This means that uh, if we want the automatic approval to work, the delivery, the procurement should be on pending status. So for now, keep it on delivered. Uh, payment status is paid. We have paid the provider. And here we'll select the provider as Apple. Now let's move to the product. Here we'll put the, the name of the item or the SQ or the barcode. You can use the barcode scanner to search for the product here. I'll type iPhone because this is the name of the product. And here I will set the purchase price for the item. Uh, for this demo, I'll put uh, 350, the tax. We'll set the tax in the tax system. And the unit of measure is piece. We buy it in piece, but if we have the boxes, we can also select the unit here. So let's say I will purchase for now, I'll purchase this 20, 20, 20 iPhones, and set the price uh, 320, all right. So we have text value and we are set to save it. So let me save. And now we have the value is paid. We have the, the sale value, this is basically uh, what we will earn if we sell all the product within this inventory and this is the taxes so now let's go to the inventory and let's see let's preview this item we can see that we have 20 quantity and if you want to make a sale we go to the pulse select the product we can see that now we can add up to 20 quantity if I want to add more let's say 21 it won't work because only 20 remain that's how to create an inventory on XOPS 4. Hey.